Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you are fantabulous. I am back. And as you could see on the screen, we are doing something a little different. And you can see the little tiny egg. I'm like tapping the screen with my nails. Can you hear it? ASMR. We're going to be looking at the screen today. <laughs> Is there anyone watching that actually listens to that ASMR stuff? That stuff makes me want to pull the hairs out of the follicles of my head and throw them across the room. <laughs> I can't stand it. It, may, it like it literally drives me nuts. I don't know how people get relaxed listening to that stuff. Anyway, I'm going off track. We're doing a little something different today. We are going to do a new thing. Well, it's not a new thing. It's just something that's new to me. I came across a thing. It's a website called Wheel Decide. I'm going to go to it and show it to you. Type Samantha. Type um, I didn't type that right, but that's okay because Google corrects everything for us in life. Thank you, Google. You are God. It should show my wheels in a moment. So what this is, guys, I ran across a channel. I've been binge watching a lot of nail videos. Some of you may know that I used to do nails and recently in the last few months, I've been falling in love with it again, doing my own nails. You might have seen my Easter nails on Instagram. They're so cute. Anyway, <laughs> I've been binge watching nail videos and one of the channels that I watch, her name is Femi Beauty. If any of you are interested in nails and super long nails and beautiful colors and stuff, I'll link her um, site in the description below. So check her out, not her site, her channel. But yeah, she does this thing, I don't know if it's weekly or bi-weekly or what, where she does a mystery nail wheel. And basically what it is, is she puts different things that you could put on nails onto the wheels she spins it whatever it lands on is what she puts on her nails and I thought to myself hmm I'm rubbing my hands together <laughs> why don't I do this for art I've been loving the whole prompt thing the collab series got my mojo going I'm sorry it took me so long to post again but I needed a little break but yeah <laughs> the collab series got me going I was loving the surprise prompts it made me think outside of the box. Mind you, this wheel thing, the prompts are standard prompts, so it's not necessarily outside of the box, but you know, I'll try to open my mind and get out there. But yeah, pretty much what I did was I made different wheels. I'm just gonna get to it, cause this is, this is getting long. <laughs> but I made different wheels, substrate to tell me what to work on, um, style to tell me what to go with, colors to tell me what colors to use this could be a sabotage right here because technically it could give me the worst combination of colors so i'm crossing my fingers and hoping that yellow or red do not pop up <laughs> then there's add-in add-in is basically going to be just a bunch of different i could just show you why do i listen okay let's just go i'm going to start with substrate <laughs> So we could see, oh, I didn't even get a paper handy. Look at how prepared I am. This is just preparation at its finest. Okay, I got my paper. I got my pen. Let's go. So here's the substrates. We have watercolor paper. Paper. <laughs> paper. I sound like I'm Southern. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we have watercolor paper, junk journal, art journal, cardstock which is just plain not printer paper but I think I have some thicker cardstock paper around I hope I don't get that there's wood here now I don't have this yet I do plan on buying some wood panels so this will come in handy but if I land on this I'm just gonna have to skip it and then there's canvas and I don't think I have any actual canvases but I have canvas paper so that'll do let's spin let's see what we got I'm so excited for this guys and listen play along make this well see I wish I could share this wheel Ooh, junk journal okay we could work in the junk journal 
I know which junk journal I'm gonna pull out. It is there and ready, and I haven't done too much in it, so that'll be fun. Making a note of that. Okay, I wish I could share this wheel. They don't let you share it, embed. See, if I had a website, I could have embedded it somewhere, but I don't. Anyway, you could play along and use these prompts that pop up with me and play along. After I get all my prompts, I'm gonna switch to my overhead and I'm gonna make it. So this is totally intuitive and live. I'm gonna speed up the video and come back to the voiceover be just because it's gonna be super long, but it's basically gonna be me picking everything and starting everything with you guys. So it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to maybe cut out a lot of the thinking where I'm sitting there doing absolutely nothing on camera. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. So, all right, junk journal it is. Next wheel is going to be our style. Let's see what style we're working with. All right, let's load up, guys, come on. Okay, here we have mixed media textures. This is just gonna be like a mixed media page that has earthing on it, earthing, collage, duh abstract acrylic illustration slash doodle watercolor let's go let's see what we working with abstract acrylic okay i like that i'm just writing it down acrylic and glass sam and glass okay this is fun i haven't worked abstract in a while so I hope it gives me good colors. I really hope it gives, if it gives me some gold, I've been wanting to throw some gold in some abstract, ooh, with some pastel colors. Ooh, that would be so cute. Okay, so I have the style. Let's go to colors. I'm gonna choose three colors. I think that's good enough. I think what I'll allow myself to do is also use black and white. There's black and white on the wheel as well. So I guess either way I could use black and white. My rules, my wheel. <laughs> so there's all colors in here. They're not color coded to the name, like this is gray yet it's orange. So it just chooses. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's spin. <laughs> my worst colors are in there, yellow, red. Please don't land on it, please, please, please. No, pass the yellow, yes! Blue, it feels like I'm like in a casino, but I'm not winning anything. But I'm winning mojo. I'm winning mojo. Guys, this is a mojo game. <laughs> Play the mojo game. <laughs> okay, I'm getting too excited. Next color. I should call it the mojo game. The title of this video, guys, will probably be mojo game. The mystery mojo game. Yes, yes. Mystery mojo game. Here we go, white. Okay, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove black and white from this wheel so I'm going to skip this because, like I said, I'm going to just be able to use that if I feel like using that. So that don't count. Black, of course. Come on. Let's, like, seriously, let's go. Color number two. <laughs> I hope this is entertaining and you guys are enjoying this. Thumbs up the video if you enjoy it. Comment down below. Let me know what you're loving about it. Let me know if you're tired of the prompts. I'm not tired of the prompts. So even if you let me know you're tired of the prompts, I'm still going to do them. <laughs> But let me know regardless, because I want to know. If a bunch of you hate it, then I won't do it. Why did I land on white again? Oh my god. What's really... I should just remove them. Green? Please don't land on red. Yes! Okay, green. I like green. We could do green. Blue and green together. Ooh! Okay, color number three. Please don't land on black or white, or blue or green. No red. <laughs> Why? Well, the last collab I did with Basquiat had blue, green, with pops of red. So I guess I'm going there again. But I'm going to do it different. Because here's, okay, I'm going to make an extra rule for this mystery mojo challenge. Not mystery mojo game. Mystery mojo challenge. I'm going to make an extra rule. The extra rule is that I could use any shade of these colors. So when it says red, I could throw some white in there and make it a pink. Okay? My wheel, my rules. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna make this a super hard challenge. Let's just throw some white in there, throw some black, do what we want, any shade of red. Okay, add in. This is where I think I'll choose, should I choose two or three of these? What do you think, guys? You can't answer live. I'm not gonna do the live thing on YouTube because from what I've seen, the quality just sucks. It loads, it's laggy, and I, I'm not about that life. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with this, see how it works. I'm doing a voice recording on my phone while I'm doing a screen recording on my computer. I am multitasking. Let's hope this actually works. I'm talking too soon. <laughs> okay, moving right along. We're into the add-ins. There's a lot on this wheel. Brad's tissue, duh. A face or a person. I hope I don't get that. If I do, I am throwing a pre-printed tissued face. I'm not drawing today. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Um, what is this? Mists, which are my Tattered Angels mists. I haven't used those in so long, so I wanted to throw them on here. Stickers, buttons, embossing powder, mica flakes. Cool stuff. Let's go. I think I'm going to choose three add-ins. That should be sufficient. Embossing powder, yes. Okay. I really like that. This is going to be a long-ass video, guys. Thumbs up, long videos. <laughs> I don't know. The collab series was long and you guys seem to really enjoy it as long as there's talking going on. Because I understand a lot of you were saying while you're cleaning the house or while you're cooking or while you're doing your own art at the same time, you're able to listen in. I agree. I used to love music and videos. I actually used to hate watching videos where people just chatted their faces off for a half an hour. I didn't like it. But for some reason, everything's changed. I don't know if it's because I'm talking now. <laughs> but no, even when watching videos now, I find that I really have to hear them. Because yeah, I might multitask and I don't want to hear just music because then I don't know what's going on. So yeah, I get it, guys. I get it. I'm going to try to do more talking. Be ready because I'm crazy and that's just how it goes. So all right, embossing powder. I'm loving that. I only have, I think, like white, gold, silver. I don't have a lot of embossing powder. I think I'm going to throw some. Go it's not going to be silver. I'm just not a silver fan. Silver's on the color list, though, so I might get that one day. Okay, next. Did I say I was going to do two of these or three of these? You can't answer me. I'm going to do three. Typography. Yes! You guys know I love, love that. I don't know if, how I'm going to put that in, whether it's going to be my own writing, a typography stamp, a typography stencil. I haven't used the stamps or stencils in a while. I might pull that out. Okay, number three. This is exciting. I'm loving this. Are you guys loving this? Do you have a pen and paper out right now writing down these prompts? And then you're going to do the art with me? Although the video is going to be sped up. But you can slow it down, right? Doesn't YouTube let you slow videos down by like two times or three times or something. I don't know. Try it out. Work fast. Pause it. <laughs> do what you got to do to join in. Mist. Yes. This thing is psychic. I just said I wanted to use these. This is fun. Blue, green, red. I don't have a red mist. I don't think I do, but I have pink. So I did say I was going to cheat on that. It's not a cheat. It's not a cheat, Sam. Your wheel, your rules. <laughs> okay, so that's three add-ins. Let's go to finish with. So this is going to be like stuff that for me, I would put near the end of a page. Different things to finish, splatter, glossy accents. Haven't used that in a long time. That'll be fun to add. Wink of Stella. Haven't used that. I have one Wink of Stella pen with gold in it. Oh my gosh, this recording is 14 minutes already. I haven't even gotten to the art yet. Guys, buckle your belts, buckle your seats, get your snacks. <laughs> this is a long one. Okay, so yeah, different finishes. Let's get it. Should I choose one or two of these? Three is too much. Yes, this thing is psychic. Ooh, 
I'm getting a little scared. Why is this? Can this hear me? Because, you know, today our phones are listening. Maybe our computers are too. This thing is listening to me. You better not be listening to me. Okay? <laughs> okay. Guys, I get paranoid about that stuff. I'm the person that has masking tape right now over my webcam of my iMac. And I've been doing that. I have masking tape on both cameras on my iPad front and back. Unfortunately, I can't do it to my phone camera because that's just going to look ugly. <laughs> so they're just going to have to watch me through my phone. <laughs> but it is a fact. Guys, it's a fact. You want to know? You, you want to see the documentaries? I. It is a fact. <laughs> Let's. That's a whole other video. We're not going to get into that today. <laughs> so Glossy Accents is our first weird computer listen to me prompt but let's go to number two <laughs> if this lands on wink of stella i am convinced marks okay marks mark making very open i love doing that you guys know that let's see oh i was only gonna choose two okay it's spinning we're choosing three scribbles yes love that okay guys this is a full prompted page i love this let me know i already said let me know they don't need to hear it again sam they're adults <laughs> okay so this is it i'm gonna go through real quick what i have chosen on camera so i'm gonna flip over now to the overhead and i'm gonna pick out my supplies i haven't picked them yet so as soon as we flip over i'm gonna pick out my supplies with you and we are going to start our page. And I'm going to go through the prompts. Okay, I shall be back in a moment. Okay, guys, here we are. We are in the overhead situation. <laughs> and we're going to pick out our supplies from our Mystery Mojo wheel. So this is what we have. We're going to be working in a junk journal. We are going to be uh, doing an abstract acrylic style page. We're going to have blue, green, and red I am using any shade of red I like, which will be pink, like I stated just now. <laughs> We're going to be using embossing powder, typography, and mists, glossy accents, mark making, and scribbles. This is going to be fun. I have obviously no clue what to do so far. I haven't even thought about it. I am doing this with you. So let's pick it out. I kind of already sort of know which junk journal I want to work in. There's one here. I don't want to knock this over. Okay, here this one I don't think I have a video making this I think I just made this on my own one day very simple and quick I didn't do anything fancy there's like four signatures but they're very small signatures I just used a bunch of different types of pages I found around this is like some watercolor paper there's handmade paper there's like mm, what else did I put in here I even put canvas in here some pattern paper. I attached this with brads, some ribbon. I really didn't go fancy. You guys remember this? This is like, I really, this, the, after doing this, I really loved collage. I was doing like a collage, collage with me uh, video series. And so the, that's what's in here. If any of you guys have seen these videos, if not, check them out. I did not like this, but so many people did. It kind of grew on me though. I don't hate it anymore. So yeah, this is where we're at in the book. This is what I'm going to do. I think I'm actually going to do a double spread. Should I? Should I do a double spread? I think it would look cool going across the page. What do we have again? We Ooh, let me show you my nails. Okay, this is real quick. I know some of you probably have no interest in nails whatsoever, but look at my cute Easter nails. Look, they're like little chocolate Cadbury eggs. Love it, love it. I might revive my other nail channel, which I've had for donkey's years. It's dormant. There's a couple slideshow, <laughs> photo slideshow videos on there, but I might revive it because lately I've been loving doing my nails and some of you may want to see that. So if you do, comment below if you think I should revive my old nail page and play around with some nail art. I think that might be fun, at least for me. I don't know about you. 
But anyway, back to business. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I should do... Mind you, I'm working with acrylic. Would it still look good with a space here? Maybe I'll put some masking tape and cover the space and then gesso over it so it's even and then do some abstract acrylic. Yes, decided. I have my masking tape here. Acrylics. So I use mostly craft acrylics. Let's see. We have blue, green, red. I said I'm not using red. So forget that. I could do something very similar to red. This is alizarin crimson. It's pretty red-ish, but it, it is more on the like pinky burgundy-ish side. So that can go down. Let's do it. And then we have blue and green. So I am pulling out the teal because I love it. It's actually peacock teal and blue should we use a pastel should i make this light should i add white and make these pastels or should i keep it dark i think i'm going to keep it dark so let's use this blue calypso blue which is similar to the no it's not similar this is a nice color scheme Ooh, yes my colors never show up properly on camera so as per usual, wait till the end, look at the pictures, you'll see the real thing. <laughs> so okay, we have our three colors. I will pull out my black and white just in case because I'm pretty sure those are going to get used. They always do. Then we're going to use embossing powder. I'm using gold. Sorry, I already made that decision. That is just what I'm about. <laughs> and gold is going to look so pretty with these colors, right? Right? Okay, typography, should I use, I don't feel like hand lettering anything. I'm feeling a little lazy today. So I think, should I use a stencil or should I use a stamp? Hmm. What to do, what to do? I don't know what to do. I have this stamp, which is really cute. That's from Prima, right? Is it? Yes, this is from Prima. I think this is a cute stamp. I might use that. I also have... I have this, which is just letters. I can make my own word. I have this stencil with some grungy letters. Ooh, okay, you know what? No, you know what? I'm using I'm using one of these. I'm using the stamps because I'm allowed to use embossing powder. Therefore, I'm going to use my stamps. Yes. So, do I want to make up my own word? No, that that's too much brain power. I don't want to think of what word to do. So, decision made. We're using this guy. Next, Mists. Okay, I have my Tattered Angels Mists, which are, oh, that's going to be interesting to add in here if I already have my colors from the acrylics. So maybe I should just add some of the same colors. Let me see. I have a little color swatch thingy to show me what mists I have. These are all my mists. So, this is a cute green, but it's not going with what we're using here. Can you see these? There you go. <laughs> it's not going with our color scheme, so I'm not going to use that. I like this patina. Let's bring that in. Is it this one? Of course, it's the one. Oh, I was going to say it's the one I use the most. I did not use this. I actually spilt this in a video. I think it was the video when I was swatching all of these. I spilled it and lost about three quarters of the bottle. It's literally up to here. Like you guys can't see because I have to turn the bottle, but it's up to here when the bottle's straight down. Yeah, I almost cried in that video. It was very sad, but this is getting used. That's gorgeous. Do you see it though? So pretty. Ah! Okay, 
that's getting used, patina. Should I use another one? There's a pretty dark blue. Am I gonna add, ooh, I like the navy blue. That has some shimmer, right? Yes, okay. Because I do want to use ones that have shimmer in them, so I'm gonna use the navy blue, which is this guy here. Pretty, I don't know if this is focusing, but shimmer. Okay, guys, this is gonna be a long video. I'm so sorry about it, but I am gonna speed up the art process. That has to be sped up, there's no way. I could do that in real time. I'm just not good with even talking and doing art at the same time. I just can't do it. So next, we have that last, Glossy Accents, Marks, okay, Marks and Scribbles is whatever. Here is my, I don't have Glossy Accents, but I have Triple Thick Brilliant Blush Blush. Nope, that is not what that says. Brilliant Brush Gloss Glaze. Say that four times fast. Brilliant Brush Blush. <laughs> Brilliant brush on gloss glaze. 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 I did it. Nailed it. <laughs> so we're done. We are good to go. I do have a pen and a pencil here for any mark making I might want to do. Actually, I'm going to pull out this Pentel brush pen because I like the way that makes marks. And I think I'm done. I'll pull out the white jelly roll just in case I want to add something with that. And we're good. I am going to speed this up, throw on some music. Let's see how this goes. I will meet you in the end and come back and have a little chat. See you soon. Bye. Alrighty, guys. So here we go. As you can see, this video is sped up a lot. I think it's like five times <laughs> I just didn't want an hour-long video guys I just didn't want to do it it's already almost 45 minutes comment down below please <laughs> and let me know if this is just way too long for you just it's long I hope you have a snack I needed a snack <laughs> but anyway I'm throwing gesso on here. I put my masking tape down the middle just so that nothing seeped through. And I'm just putting the gesso on so it's one straight texture through the whole page. I didn't want to have different textures between the paper, watercolor paper, and the masking tape. I just wanted it to be cohesive. <laughs> so this is my little acetate piece, and I put my paint on there. So. I'm just kind of thinking as I go. I did have somewhat of an idea in my head, but it was it was a think as I go type of situation. And we'll see. You'll see <laughs> how it went. You'll see. So I'm just putting my colors down. I think I'm going to get my spray bottle. Yeah, I wanted the page to be wet so everything just flowed. And I think I'm going to be spritzing the paint so that it gets all blurry and blends and I'm just going abstract it's been quite a minute since I did like an abstract acrylic type of thing and it was a struggle I'm not even gonna lie it was fun I was enjoying it I was having fun getting it all wet and that does not sound right <laughs> children close your ears <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, I had fun watching the watercolor flow, <laughs> the acrylic, the watered down acrylic. But I don't know, it was a struggle because I, I wanted to take out paper and rip it up and glue it on. But I'm like, no, Samantha, this is not a collage. We are not doing that. The wheel told us to do acrylic and we're doing acrylic and we're making it abstract. This was a lot. The color was bright. It was loud. It was loud. It was yelling at me. I did not appreciate it. <laughs> I needed it to go from a level 10 to a level 5. You'll see me later try to calm it down <laughs> with some white. It was a lot. It was loud and it was a lot. This is the other blue. It looks the same on camera. It looks like the same exact color, but it's not. It's different. Wait till the end, the pictures will show you the truth. <laughs> but yeah, I just went across the middle there 
And here's where I'm kind of starting to get more of an idea. I'm coming in with my black squiggly lines. I haven't done this in a while. This is so fun. This is so soothing and so fun to just let your hand loose and go across the page. And it's just applying pressure here and there. I kind of regret, regret. <laughs> Sometimes words just escape me. They just escape me. They're gone from my brain. <laughs> I was saying I regretted doing these up and down squiggles. I should have just stuck with the straight line going right across just to split the page. I did too much. It was, it was fun. I was enjoying it. And I couldn't stop. <laughs> but it worked out somewhat in the end I don't know I can't even say I love this page you'll hear me in the outro say that I like it yet I don't if that even makes any sense it's okay it might grow on me here's the thinking fingers I'm coming in oh this is where I'm calming down the loudness <laughs> of the color it was too much it was too much it was doing the most it needed to calm down so I just watered down some white calming it down after I dry it it becomes much lighter there you go so I'm thinking thinking I remembered hey I have to use the mists and I kind of just added more shadow like I did with the other color just I, I didn't know what else to do <laughs> but this mist actually has some shimmer in it it doesn't really show up on camera but it has some shimmery bits and it's really pretty in the light so I've sprayed it with water so it gets all blurry. I like it. I like the extra shadow that it added. And I think I come in with the teal, but I might have cut it, cut it, see, words, words, Sam. I might have cut it out <laughs> in editing, but I think I put the teal in the upper half somewhere and you couldn't even really see it because it's, it's the same color as the top anyway. Here I'm explaining that my original thought was to take the embossing pen from Ranger and draw a line through the black and then use the embossing powder with the gold but the pen dried out I was like what am I gonna do so here I'm trying to just use the foil glue with the embossing powder since the foil glue is tacky I figured the embossing powder will stick we will dry it up it'll work out we'll all be good to go it did work but you'll see what happens it gets all like bubbly because the the foil glue bubbles up once I add heat so I didn't like how it was all lumpy so I figured okay we're gonna use the embossing powder later with a stamp I changed my mind on that stamp and I brought out this one instead but I put away the embossing powder I'm like let's just go with the foil glue and the foil and we're good to go so I'm gonna start painting with the foil glue oh I'm gonna use that golden paint later on I think it's iridescent gold fine because it was the same color or close to the same color as the foil and it was all bright and that yellow kind of gold not my favorite kind of gold but it turned out nice in the end so this is me painting on the foil glue and it's a long process I think I cut some of this out and come back and my phone ran out of space anyway the color's gonna change there you go I think it's way brighter <laughs> That's what happens when you're using your cell phone, guys. There's a lot of post-editing, and I could never get the colors right. Anyway, this is me putting on the foil. I love this part. This is so fun. You just stick it on, pull it off, and you're good to go. And I'm just going through and trying to make sure I get all of it. Look at that shine. It's so pretty. So I'm liking it now that there's gold on it, but still not loving the background. I don't know. There's something about the background that I'm just not loving. We'll see. It might grow on me. Here I'm pulling out the paint and I'm drawing little fishies. I got this idea from, I can't even remember if it was a YouTube video a long time ago or if it was something I saw on Pinterest, but I remember it was like a, a watercolor painting and the background was super dark, like this deep, deep blue. And there was this gorgeous curve of gold fishes flowing through the page. And it was perfectly curved. There was like 
a hundred of them. It was so pretty. And I can't even remember who created it, to be honest. It's been so long since I've seen it. But that was kind of in my mind when I was thinking, what am I going to draw on here with gold? And I thought fishes and it's loosely inspired by that. If you guys have ever seen anything like that, <laughs> maybe you saw it yourself if you go on Pinterest, but I'm always on Pinterest. So yeah, I just drew a bunch of fish and I kind of, they were really messy. I should have made them more detailed. I kind of regret doing that. I should have took more time and really made like detailed fishies, but kind of went a little loose. I think I go back later on and like point the tips of their noses. Maybe I already did that. Yeah, I think I already did that. I went back and kind of made them a little more neat. Here I'm pulling out this Tombow marker and it has gray on one side and black on the other side. I changed my mind about it though because it wasn't really showing up. And so I'm just using my favorite Castell. And this is the scribble prompt where I'm just scribbling some words which half of them aren't even real words but that's the fun of it just scribble i love scribbling words so this is kind of the typography and the scribble prompt in one but i'm also going to put more typography with the the stamp set there in the corner because words typography you know <laughs> i'm just dotting little eyes on all the little fishies so they're alive <laughs> but it's like i don't know if they're swimming through the water or if they're swimming through the sky. It could be either or, right? You choose, you decide, choose your own adventure. <laughs> so here's where my brain was lazy. I couldn't think of a word to use, so gold. Can you guess what I did? Can you guess? F, <laughs> goldfish, get it? Gold fishes, yeah. The brain was working hard. <laughs> but I'm just going to use the Versamark and put the goldfish on there. with. And here's where I'm going to pull out the embossing powder. I wish the embossing powder was as bright as the rest of the gold. You'll see when I do it that it just didn't turn out as bright. It was kind of dull compared to the rest of the page. But it's all good. It was gold. And it was on there. And so that's like... The embossing powder font, font, prompt, <laughs> plus the typography. So I kind of mix and matched all the prompts in there. I, I'm pretty sure I got them all in there. I think I go over them in the end when I'm doing my regular outro. Here's where I'm using the triple thick, i.e. glossy accents. And I'm just putting little water droplets. I figured if they are in the water, we'll add some water droplets. <laughs> But this is pretty much, oh no, I'm not done yet. I'm lying. I was going to say I was done, but that's a lie. I'm adding some splatter. So this is where I'm using marks. So mark making, splatter, to me, splatter is part of mark making because it throws a bunch of marks on there. <laughs> and I'm adding some extra, you know, bigger splatters. And I feel like, oh yeah, when I took this little piece of paper off, I smudged it. And I think I took like a baby wipe because I'm a anal perfectionist <laughs> and took it off. But it worked out. It worked out. And then I think actually I'm not, I'm still not done. I come in with some white splatter, I think, because I figured, you know what? Maybe it'll look cute. Yeah. Maybe it'll look cute with some white splatter along the top. <laughs> and it worked out. I like how it came together. And then I think I'm done. And that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to come through and have a regular outro now so you guys can listen to that. Yes, bye. I'm so silly. Okay, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, this is it. I'm done. I like it and don't like it and like it and don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm weird. You guys know I've put stuff out that I was like, eh, I don't like this. And then it kind of grows on me as time goes, but we shall see. I, I like the colors. I had the idea in my head as I was going along. But you know, sometimes what's in your head doesn't actually happen on paper. But all in all, this was fun. Let's go through the prompts. So basically, 
junk journal, we know that's what we're working in. Abstract acrylic, it's pretty abstract in my mind. Blue, green, and red. With the red, of course, we used the <laughs> alizarin crimson because I didn't want to use red, so whatever. <laughs> Embossing powder there. Typography is the goldfish and I guess the scribbly handwriting. And the mists I also put in the background. So there is some sparkly... I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but in the teal you could see that it's kind of shimmery. It might show up, it might not, I don't know. But um, yeah, glossy accents. So these aren't dry. I'm sure they're very wet still. Maybe the outside of them are dry. Yeah, the outside coating is dry, but this takes forever to dry, so I'm not about to wait for that. <laughs> Marks. Um, I guess the splatters. The splatters was my mark making portion of things and then the scribbles was the scribbly uh, writing that I was doing so I got all the prompts in this was so fun guys I'm gonna do this often like I said comment down below and let me know if you like this whole mystery mojo wheel I feel like every so often when I want to just be surprised with some prompts I'm gonna definitely do it pull it out record it for you guys so you can even join in like I said in the beginning write down the prompts once I spin the wheel and play along but um, it's gonna be a fun way for me to like I said get outside of my box and see what I can do I did realize that I kinda messed up because this junk journal I was going to keep solely for collage style pages and this is not collage but it's whatever. We could do what we want in whatever journal we want, right? Right. <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys. Take a look at the pictures in the end. It will definitely be showing the true color because it's really gorgeous. I do love these colors together. And I do like how it turned out. So I will see you in the next one. It's coming soon. Um, I'm not sure what type of video it will be, but we shall see. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends if you think they'll like it too, and I will see you soon. Bye!